Hello everyone. Assalamu alaikum. I am Dr. Ms. Bahar Mukhayadi. Today I will show you the gross idea about the human skeleton. Here we can see the first bone which forms your forehead is the frontal bone. This is the frontal bone. This is the frontal bone. And the bone underlying your ear is the temporal bone. This is the temporal bone. It is a pear bone. This is the temporal bone of right side. And this is the temporal bone of left side. Just your uh, the posterior portion of your skull is the occipital bone. This is the occipital bone. It is a single bone. This is the occipital bone. And above your head, there are uh, another pair of bones, which is called the parietal bone. This is the right half of the parietal bone, and this is the left half of the parietal bone. Then, in your face, this is the nasal bone. This is the nasal bone. This is the maxilla. This is the maxilla. This is the gigantic bone. Look, this is the gigantic bone. This is the right gigantic bone, which uh, connects with the temporal bone. This is the gigantic bone. And this bone is the mandible. This is mandible. Then the skull is connected with the body, with the spine. The bones which form the spine is called the vertebra. This is the atlas or first cervical vertebra. This is the axis or second cervical vertebra. This is third cervical vertebra. This is fourth cervical vertebra. This is fifth cervical vertebra. This is sixth cervical vertebra. And this is seventh cervical vertebra. So there are seven cervical vertebra. Then This is the first thoracic vertebra which connects with the first rib. This is the first rib. So, first rib is connected with the first thoracic vertebra. Then, this is the second rib. This is third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th and 12th rib. So, there are 12 ribs in each side of your chest. In the middle portion of your chest, there is another bone which is called the sternum. This is the sternum. It's the On both sides of your back, upper back is there is two bone there are two bones which are called scapula this is the scapula of left side and this is the scapula of right side the, the bones of your arm and forearm the first bone of your the bones which forms your arm is the humerus this is the humerus your forearm bones are two in number. The outer one is called the radius and the inner one is called the ulna. There are some small bones connecting your uh, hand with the forearm. They are the carpal bones. They are eight in number. 
this is the piciform bone this is the scaphoid bone this is the lunate bone this is the trichotrum bone and this is the piciform bone and this is the trapezoid trapezium bone this is the trapezoid this is the capitate and this is the hamate these are the eight carpal bones of your hand now the carpal bones are connected with the metacarpal bones this is the first metacarpal bones this is the second this is the third this is fourth and this is fifth the metacarpal bones are connected with the phalanges this is the proximal phalanx of the thumb this is the uh, distal phalanx of the thumb all the fingers has three phalanxes but the thumb has only two the other fingers has three phalanxes each has three phalanxes phalanges this is the proximal phalanx this is the middle and this is the distal similarly this is the proximal phalanx this is the middle phalanx this is the distal phalanx similarly the other phalanx have similar phalanxes now the spine is spine has 33 vertebra this is remember this is the first thoracic vertebra and there are 12 in number 12 vertebra this is the first this is the second this is the third this is the fourth this is the fifth this is the sixth this is the seventh this is the eighth this is the ninth this is the tenth this is the eleventh and this is the twelfth so there are twelve thoracic vertebrae and there are twelve twelve rib twelve rib so there are twelve the thoracic vertebrae are twelve in number and also the ribs are twelve in number in each side the twelfth the twelfth thoracic vertebrae is connected with the first lumbar vertebrae is the first and the number of vertebrae are five in number this is the first this is the second this is the fourth this is the third this is the fourth and this is the fifth number of vertebrae the sacral vertebrae are for forms together uh, fused together and forms the sacrum and these are five with number and the forms which is fused and connected with the coccyx this is the coccyx the bones of your hip is called the pelvis this is the pelvis is has several parts this is the sacrum this is the ilium this is the ilium of right side this is the pubis this is the pubis this is the ischium this is the ischium and the pelvis is connected with the thigh bone which is called the femur your thigh bone is called the femur femur is connected with two bones in front it is connected with the small bone called the patella or also it is also known as kneecap and below the femur is connected with the leg bone which is called the tibia another leg bone is called the fibula the tibia is connected with the bones of the foot this is the talus this bone is called the talus 
The talus is connected in front with the navicular bone. This is the navicular bone. Look carefully, this is the navicular bone. This is the and below it is connected with the, the talus is connected with the calcaneum. This, your heel bone is called the calcaneum. It forms the heels. It forms the heel. Now, now, the bones of your foot, there are several cuneiform, this is the medial cuneiform, this is the intermediate cuneiform and this is the lateral cuneiform. And this is the cuboid bone. This four bone is called the metacarpal bone, metatarsal bone. Sorry, this these are the metatarsal bone. And the metatarsal bone connects with the phalanges. Your finger bones are called the phalanges. This is the your finger of the foot or toes these are called this is the proximal uh, phalanx of the great toe this is the distal phalanx of great toe this is the proximal phalanx of second toe this is the middle phalanx of second toe and this is the distal phalanx of second toe similarly this is the proximal middle and distal proximal middle and distal proximal middle and distal these are all the phalanxes, phalanges of the toes. This is all about the skeletal system of human body. This is just the ABC or the gross idea about the human skeleton. It is uh, just the primary uh, knowledge about the human skeleton and step by step we will discuss about uh, the uh, deep or or the deep concept about the human skeleton and uh, thanks for watching i hope uh, you will enjoy this uh, you enjoyed this video thanks for watching assalamu alaikum